All right, welcome back everyone. So, we left off last time finishing up all four of the segments in Alpine Ridge and also the Poison Flower segment. We got five timepieces total from there. Um, now we do have two time rifts, which we will be covering, but not quite yet. Remember that last act in Mafia Town? Let's go ahead and finish that one up. So we need this time stop helmet for that. See, it's unlocked now. Cheating the race. So the point on this one is this guy is going to be using a rocket to get to a certain point a lot faster than we can run there. So this is a race. Obviously. And there it kind of shows you the path we're taking. There's the end point. So it's basically from one side of the island to the other. So yeah, you have to have the time stop hat or this is impossible. Rockets are fast. And if Mafia on rocket, Mafia is fast. Fastest man alive! Little child want to race fastest man alive? Mafia stole timepiece from HQ. If you win, Mafia give it to you. It is on! Mafia not sure Mafia survive this, but at least Mafia die as fastest man alive! That's right, have some spirit about it. Get ready! Alright, here we go. go. So yeah, we're going to be wanting to use this hat pretty much as often as possible. There actually is, like, if you have some serious platforming skills, I've actually seen it possible to do that without the time stop hat. But it's very difficult, and you just barely make it there before he does, so there's a lot of trial and error using that method. And I've tried at least a few dozen times, and I couldn't even get close. So, I guess it's all a matter of how uh, skilled you are at the platforming, I suppose. But with the conclusion of that act, we are now completely finished with chapter one. It's kind of funny, the first chapter, and we're almost finished with the game completely, and we just now finished that all the way. So chapter one is completed, two is completed, and chapter three are completely finished. So now we just need to go wrap up the loose ends in chapter four, which should only be two time rifts. And then after that, we'll be moving on to the final boss. Yeah, we're sitting at 37 timepieces. Well, let's go ahead and check these time rifts out. Alright, I know where that one is. Not so sure about that one, though. Although, based on the atmosphere, it looks like it's probably on the fire side. Like, near, near the lava cake somewhere. So I'll search over there. I'll search for that one second, because I already know where this first one is. It should be right next to the Twilight Bell here. So uh, after you find all the specific areas in free roam, it actually unlocks them as its own specific node in this... Uh, it, what is it? A, uh... Oh man, it's slipping my mind right now. Anyway, whatever it is, you can pick each act separately now. So it'll spawn you right next to... Uh, the location and it just so happens that the time rift is literally right next to the, the spawn point which is extremely convenient so here's the first blue time rift of Alpine Ridge and the second one will be the final one in the game we'll have completed all of them at that point so as you can see this one's gonna be using the Dweller Mask quite a bit I think didn't actually equip it there. There we go. Might also be using a time stop mask. I'm not entirely sure. Yeah. 
Who else? Oh, no. He got me. Rip. Well, it happens. jump I did there where you have to equip the mask and jump through the platform and then also jump that gap if you don't know the gap is there you might die there I think I died there at least once on the first playthrough so I'm just gonna take this color I don't really feel like rolling on those I, I don't really get anything good for the most part anyways I don't know if the color's gonna look good though I might just go back to what I had okay yeah not a huge fan, to be honest. I think this is what I had before. I like this one. Alright, time rift number two. This one might require a little bit of looking around. Uh, if I am looking too long, I'll probably just make a cut. But I'm going to guess it's somewhere near the lava cake, so let's start there. It's not going to be on the actual lava cake itself though. Not that much fire everywhere. If I had to guess, I'm going to say it's probably in this segment right here. So in that picture you could see a roof with this little curvy thing on it. So. It might be this roof right here, but of course I don't know that for sure. Well, let's, let's sort of look around. Um, see if we can find it here. That was not good. Did not mean to do that. Alright, starting to think it's not here because I've covered every bit of the land and I haven't seen it, so I'm actually going to go back one more zone here. It might be in this very first area. If it is, though, it's going to be on the far side. Which means I need to go over there. Aw, oh, bummer. Why did it spawn... Okay, I don't know why it spawned me all the way to the front over here, but... Whatever, it is what it is. So... I guess I'm going to try heading over to this left side. That's where I'm thinking the time rift is. Not gonna be up there because it, it was in a fiery looking area, so. Oh, I don't know. Let me get up here and see if I can get a better viewpoint. This one might require some looking. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and do a jump cut, and I'll get back to you when I find it. 
All right, guys. I was finally able to find it after a little while of looking around. So, uh, it's on Curly Tail, or uh, let's see what it's called here. Curly Tail Horn Trail is where it is. So, uh, the way you get here is you go down the path towards the windmill. And then you, you take that secondary platform that I took earlier on, uh, like you use the ice hat, one right here, to use the ice platform to get down there, and then you ride this one down here. This is an optional path. Hey, care, kid. I went up ahead and scratched slightly. So that guy will say that, and you'll know you're in the right place. And then you just go this way. I'm on the roof of this place. And it's right here. There it is. So yeah, it took me a little while to find, but here it is. Final time rift of the game. Let's go. those guys from now on rather not deal with them to be honest with you okay that's actually where the timepiece is oh okay, I need to yep just like that well that was extremely easy wow I thought that was gonna be a lot more challenging but nope that was pretty easy all right Alright, hopefully we'll get something good here. New color right off the bat, but I'm actually going to pass. I don't want that color. Eh, I don't want that hat either. It's kind of funny, we're getting all rare things. Alright. Filler mask, sure, I'll take it. I mean, I have to take it. it looks pretty neat. Alright, and with that... Chapter 4, Alpine Skyline, is completed. Everything is finished here. As you can see, we have 39 out of 40 timepieces. We only have one left, and that's the finale. We've done everything else in the game. Which means we only have one video to go. The finale. That's going to be up in the attic. But uh, thank you for watching. And I'll see you in the final video. Alright, welcome back. Are you ready for the finale? We have 1,453 pawns, all 12 relics, and 39 out of 40 timepieces. We are ready to finish the game. Oh, but I'm forgetting one thing. I should cash in all my relic tokens, shouldn't I? I have so many of them after all. So let's do some uh, plots here. There's that color again from the last video I didn't take. Alright, new hat player, I'll take it. It's pretty cool, but I actually like my other one more. My three star, so I'll put that one back. Alright, roll again. A remix, no thanks. That color again. You know, I might as well just take that color because it's just going to keep popping up. Alright, here's the sprint hat. I actually don't want that as my override, so... Uh, let me just put it back to the one I had. Yeah. So let's just keep on rolling until I can't roll anymore. Another new remix, I don't care. Ooh, super rare color. The Big Appetite. Let's see what that looks like. Ooh. Purple, yellow, and green boots. Cool. I like it. And right off the bat, 
Ice hat. I like this one. It's got little horns. So cute. And let's continue rolling. That color again. Ooh, what's this color? The blood moon. Let's see what that looks like. Ooh, I like that one too. I actually think I like this one more than the other one we just got. Keep on rolling. It's that color again, man. It really wants us, doesn't it? There it is again. We might have to take it after all. Oh, nice. We got another color. The Widow. Wow, that's all kinds of black, isn't it? Keep on rolling. Ooh, that's a really pink one. We're getting a whole bunch of three stars. Cute and dangerous. <laughs> oh my goodness, okay. So pretty much hot pink everything and khakis. I don't know why khakis, but... Okay, let's just go with it. Oh, uh, okay. So it's, that's all we had enough tokens for. But yeah, we got a lot of cool stuff. Lots of cool stuff. So now that we've done that, it's time to start the finale. Let's go, shall we? Alright. Chapter 5, Time's End, the finale. I can actually take this off now. <clears throat> we have no we have no further use for it. So as you can see here, there's a whole bunch of characters we've met throughout the game. Like here's some mafia. We got some of the ghosts from chapter three. We got an owl here, express owl. You know, just characters we've met. Obviously we got this guy. Give him a nice talking to. got a point there. Alright, well let's just cut to the front of the line because that's what we do around here. <laughs> anyway. Looks like a pretty menacing place if you ask me. Right. And so it begins. Uh go ahead and put this one on, why not? that one somehow. Got it. And these guys are gonna start throwing stuff at us. I'm just gonna dodge them because they are very frustrating to try and destroy. Alright, that was a fail. There we go. Got some timing here. No problem. Thank you. 
Oh, that hurt a lot. girl here got a little crazy I think making big golden statues of herself I don't know why that's a thing that needed to happen all right controller man just making our way downtown oh dodgy chestnut things? I don't know. You know, you know what they actually look like? They look like, they look sort of like precursor orbs from Jack and Daxter. Maybe it's just me. I don't know. I just noticed that. Oh my, me just coming through. Going to make me murder you. That was hot. Okay, that's that's just not very nice. You took my mask. Okay. All right. You want to fight? How darest thou? Alright, so we actually have to kill these guys because they've got tethers attached to them, of course. Get out of here. Okay, that was rude. made it. Punch old man for like two days straight that one time. Oh wow, what a touching story. Just kidding. Bad guy, next! No! I said next! Well then. It's judgment day apparently. Let's see what the crazy lady wants. Oh, it's you. You've been kinda a selfish little pest, but uh, you haven't actually stood in my way. You get to go on. You're a good guy, uh, I guess. Go on! You get to live! Next! Hmm. I don't think I want to leave. Don't you dare get anywhere near me. I don't think you quite understand who's in charge, little missy. You know, I was willing to forgive you. I once thought we were going to be best buds. But nope, you turned out to be rotten and selfish. Save the planet from bad guys. Psh, who needs that, am I right? Look at all I've done without you. I've restored justice. I am the justice. No more bad guys. Ever. I don't need you. This planet doesn't need you. 
Nobody will miss you, and nobody will care. You are the bad guy, and I'll show you how this justice system deals with bad guys. Oh, that was not very nice. Got stuck in the wall there. Um. Oh. Okay. I don't think that was supposed to happen. But all right. She can get lost. What's happening? My hat is above my head. Mustached girl is not welcome here. Mafia say get lost! That's right, get lost! No one wants you here! Isn't that right, big lad? This alternate reality stinks! Get lost! People. They're crooks, criminals, and you're... you're helping them! This ends now! Alright, well I'm not sure what was causing that glitch, but I'm actually going to take this off because I think this might be part of it. But yeah. She can jab at that little red nuisance so she'll get lost! Let's roll! <laughs> little girl, give us a shove right into that red lass's ugly mug! You got it. That was rude.
Not doing so hot. Drop pawns. This gives Mafia an idea. Little Hat Girl need help to turn back time. If Mafia explode, Little Hat Girl get useful pawns. Mafia has to explode to save world. What? Plan is crazy. Hello, Mafia. No worry. If Little Girl succeed, Mafia come back when time rewinds. Now, punch me with all your might, fellow Mafia. No hesitation! Red Hooded Girl, get, get lost. lost! Hat Girl, here, take these! <laughs> Those Mafia lads, so foolishly brave. But eh, what's the point of living if I ain't got me train anyway? Alright, DJ Grooves. The two of us are gonna help this little hot lass. Get ready for a mean punch. And you aim for my face. That's my weak spot. This angry red lass needs to get lost. Hmm. Yeah, I think we should help her. Beep, boop, beep, boop. 
Well, there you go. Ahead in time. So, I'm trying to think of what to say here. Um, I guess let me know what you thought about this little series. If you enjoyed it, if there's something you'd like to see uh, that I haven't already done. For example, like a time rift guide, maybe. I could just compile all of the time rifts into one video and show all of those in sequence. Or I could show you how to get certain achievements if you'd like. I could do an achievement guide. Uh, pretty, I mean, pretty much anything. Like, if you want something, just let me know in the comments and I'll look into it. And uh, yeah, I, I, like just give me your, your overall opinion. Did you like this series? Did you dislike the series? What did you like? What did you not like about it? But yeah, this was uh, this was really fun to make. Uh, this is a really nice game. I really enjoy this one. Uh, this game was actually a game funded completely by Kickstarter backers, and this game popped up quite a while ago. I'm not going to mention a year because I'll probably get it wrong, but um, at least a couple years ago is when this started popping up around the internet, and I've been following a few people who were backing it. I myself did not back it, unfortunately. I, at this point, I wish I would have, but I was following it during early development, like during alpha stages and some even before that, but somewhere along the way, I kind of lost sight of it and it just kind of fell off my radar. And uh, I just, I never really found it again until it officially released a couple months ago. And I was like, oh, I completely forgot about this game. And I was really interested in it. And uh, I bought it a couple weeks ago. I was like, all right, that's it. I've got to play this now. And uh, th this is a really good game. I really enjoy this game, uh, especially for an indie game, completely funded on Kickstarter. Here you go. Here's the fullest Kickstarters right there. So uh, yeah, th this is a fan funded project completely. And this is a success story. This is a Kickstarter success story. And there's a lot of stories out there where People will take the funds and build a not even half finished build sometimes and then just run away with the money. That seems to be happening pretty often nowadays, but this game right here is an example that there can still be some good coming from places like Kickstarter or from Patreon, you know, places like that. Very promising.
All right, yeah, so that's it. That's a hat in time. So with that, I think I'll call it a wrap on this video and on this series, unless you'd like to see something extra that I have not done yet, which, as I said, I would be more than willing to work on. Just let me know what you want in the comments, and I'll look into it. So uh, I guess for now, uh, that's a wrap. Thank you for watching, and uh, I'll see you in whatever I decide to make next. Take care.